we have to do something about uh, maybe what they're seeing and how they're seeing it, and also video games. I'm hearing more and more people say the level of violence on video games is really shaping young people's thoughts. And then you go the further step, and that's the movies. You see these movies, they're so violent, and yet a kid is able to see the movie if sex isn't involved, but killing is involved. And maybe they have to put a rating system for that. And you, you know, you get into a whole very complicated, very big deal. But the fact is that you are having movies come out that are so violent with the killing and everything else that maybe that's another thing we're going to have to discuss. And a lot of people are saying it. You have these movies today where you can go and have a child see the movie, and yet it's so violent and so disgusting. So we may have to talk about that also. Well, thank you very much, Pam. Now, I actually kind of agree with him, particularly about the movies. Um, I'm not necessarily sure I agree with him on the video games part, but I agree with him on the movies. I've talked about it before. Um, there's already supposed to be a rating system, but maybe we need to revamp it. But the reason why I made this video is to show that, hey, uh, maybe uh, feminism isn't the biggest threat to your violent video games.